What is good YouTube? It's your boy Danny the Barber and today we're going to be changing the alternator on my 2012 Cadillac CTS and so I know it needs to be changed because yesterday my car completely shut off battery was fried, it was just done for you know we pushed it to the barber shop I had to disconnect it there at the shop I put a new battery in that I picked up and my car is still reading on the dash that it says the service battery charging system basically my battery is not getting charged at all so I don't want to waste this new battery I just got because I'd have to get another one if it goes out again. That kind of expensive. I'm gonna show y'all how I do it today. Let's get it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what it's reading on the dash so y'all know what to look for too. If yours needs to be changed, I'm gonna go ahead and start the car now. And see on the dash, let's see. Let's get all these codes out the way. See the battery's still popping up right there. And let's see, I load the front tire. Yeah, I already know that. I see right there service battery charging system so i threw a new battery in yesterday that should not be there i'm gonna show y'all how i changed it i'm gonna show y'all how to do it how to take everything apart what tools you'll need so hopefully this helps another cadillac owner in the future because knowledge is key let's get it go ahead and start by popping the trunk you'll find the lever right under here boom close that door And the beauty itself. All right, so you're gonna start with removing the oil cap to get this cover off. Got to twist it off, pull it off. It should just lift out like that. I'm just throw this to the side for now. And then next, we're gonna disconnect the battery. And right here, usually there's a red cap over this, but I had, I had lost it already fell off I guess but once we disconnect this it would disconnect the battery instead of going to the trunk and disconnecting it it's right here this is where you disconnect and then you want to be able to pop this plastic off I just lift up it just comes out for me just do a little pull and get this one off too all right so disconnect the battery I'm using a 13 millimeter wrench and just Side. All right, so next I'm gonna take the screw off my air filter right here and right here. It'll make it a little easier to work in there, getting between the bell and stuff. So I already loosened it. You just loosen it right there with the flathead screwdriver. Boom, boom. You have a plug connected to it. Go ahead and unplug that, put it to the side, and this should just slide right off. Now I got the half inch uh, wrench, whatever you want to call the socket wrench, but I, I'm gonna pull up and it will loosen the tension on the belt. So I'll be able to pull this belt off. And I'll see y'all after I get it off. Let's see if I can do this. You got the belt now. Went too hard. I probably shouldn't have taken it all off, but let's just leave it right there. The alternator off, you're gonna need to apply a, a long screwdriver, flathead behind a plastic clip. I'll show y'all where it located at. So I got I got it, I got it off already off camera but if you can see the screwdriver is right here behind the clip and let's see if i can zoom in show you um that oh, this is a clip right here and it, it just goes in right here into the alternator but i already pried it plied it out so now i can take the screwdriver out of there and now we can work to getting the bolts off 
And for this part to get the bolts, I think it will be easier to just lift the car up. I'm gonna just jack it up and get under there. And hopefully I don't die under there. At least I have it on video. How to slide under the car and show y'all the, the bolts you need to take off to get the alternator loose. So you see those two bolts right there. Um, I'll probably try to focus on them, but I'm pretty sure you can see them. We're going to have to get those off. I'll let you know what the size is right when I figure it out right now. You can see it. I have the 15 on the bottom bolt of the alternator and I finally got it loose. So I should be able to get it out with my hand now. Let's see. I can even get my hand in there right now. There it goes. Now that bitch is tight. Excuse my language. All right, so I got that bolt out, it was, let's see if I can zoom in. It was right there. Now, I'm gonna try to get this one out. And this one's gonna be pain in my butt, I tell you that. But, now we got the first one done. So the problem we're running into now is I got it off. And this is the, the bolt, but it's out. You don't gotta worry about it now. It's not fully gonna come out because of the whatever this piece of metal is right here. But I got it all screwed out because it was this bolt and now this bolt. And I unclipped it, so now it should be able to come out and I'll get back with you as soon as I get it out. I'd be lying to you if I told you it was easy, but I had a 10 millimeter in there, just slowly half inches turns every time, man. It was kind of difficult, but most things in life are hard. <laughs> okay, so we got one more bolt left. And it's this one right here behind the alternator. So I'm, I'm gonna figure out what size it is and get it off and I'll let, come back with y'all. So right here, I got the bolt loose. It's taking it off now. Super hard, weird angle, but there you go. So now I should just be able to slide it. So there's one more bolt actually. It's on the very top of the alternator. It's that one right there. And I just already got it loose with the, with this ratchet. All the bolts were a five eighth and standard. This is how I got it out. Just going back and forth, very slow and tedious. It's kind of hard with the camera, but you gotta get the point, slow. All right, guys, got it out. With all that being said, all the screws are out. I should be able to pull this damn alternator out. Oh, shit, this is heavy. They disconnect the radiator hose right here to be able to get the alternator out. Because if not, it would have just been sitting in there through everything. But now, I should just be able to get it up. Oh, holy shit. Out with the old and with the new. Guys, here's the old one and the new one side by side. And the only parts that you're not keeping, like on your old with the new one, are these little bolts right here. These little screws, I mean. Or nuts, whatever you want to call them. But, so this is how ugly this one is. So that one's gone, done for. But... We're keeping these, these two. Because basically, these are gonna go right there, right there, and this one's gonna go right there. But, I'm gonna throw it back on and show y'all the process. All right, YouTube, I'm basically gonna try to throw, my, I'm gonna do my best to get this in here. I know it's not gonna be easy for it has such a weird angle. This alternator's gonna go in there, but after I get in there, I'll show you me reattaching the bolts. Um, you know what I mean? It's not much more I can show you other than me just putting it in. I've already showed y'all where it's located, what bolts y'all needed. 
Now you're just using the same things you used before, just to tighten everything down, you know? One thing I'm gonna have to do is get some uh, coolant from my radiator now, because I leaked some out on the floor. No biggie. But after that, you know, just plug and play everything, and we should be ready to go. All right, so I'm trying to do my best to get this back in here. But I'm having a difficult time. But I think more than likely that's where it's at. Um, I got a, a little more adjustment to do, but once I get the first bolt in, I'll let y'all know. All right, YouTube. So I got the 3 8 basically a 15 on the top bolt of the alternator. And then I already got the bottom two. I'll show you that right now, but I'm just making sure everything's get tightened down and then we'll be ready to throw everything back connected on and be ready to hit the road again. So now I'm gonna make sure I tighten those bolts. I just hand tightened them so it's not all the way. But I'm gonna use my 15 wrench, tighten them off. And then I already, I already tightened this back one right here all the way. That's what's holding it in. Uh, after that, I'm done. So we got the alternator all the way on completely. I just put the belt back on. I would say look online and you'll find exactly how to do it because you can do it wrong for sure. All I did was put it on. And then I just pulled this up all the way up and it gave me a slack. I was able to loop it onto the alternator. So yeah, now I'm just gonna go ahead and clean all my valves right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean my coolant uh, one, two. You know, it looks a little dirty and stuff. Might as well, me personally, since I'm already here, might as well clean it. Grab any towel, you know, and just wipe away all that grime and nastiness. It's nasty. And same thing with right here. Just go ahead and clean it off. There you go. Now I'm just gonna throw on the coolant line back on. It's right here. That just goes right there. I use some pliers to clamp that back on right there. And I'm gonna throw my my uh air filter back on right there. So I'll get back to y'all when I get done with that. There you go, I got those both connected in there. Nice and tight, coolant lines back on. Now all I really got to do is just connect my battery terminals. And we back in there like somewhere. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and clear all the tools I got left behind. You don't wanna shut your hood or nothing like that. Start with the side piece. Make sure I got everything on there. Double check. Yep. Then there. Just like that. Go ahead and close this. And just like that. All right, so earlier during the process, I had took the radiator hose off and it leaked fluid everywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and add coolant to it. And I don't have a funnel, so I just made a homemade one. Guys, the moment of truth is starting your car after you did that alternator replacement. So I got the everything connected again. I got the battery connected. And so if you remember at the beginning of the video, I had a message on the dash right there. It would say service battery charging system. And I had a battery icon on the right side of the dash. And so if everything went smoothly, we should not have that anymore whatsoever. We put my key in and start it. Ready? Boom. So let's see, let all these stuff go away. Boom, so let's see, left front tire low at air. We've been on about that one. And then change engine oil soon. So the message is not there no more. 
it's gonna go back to low tire pressure. Yep. And if you look over here, the battery icon is no longer on my dash. So uh, I would say the replacement went smoothly. And just like that, we replaced the alternator on my Cadillac CTS 2012. And I hope, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I had fun doing it. Nothing better than taking something broken, putting it, fixing it yourself. You know, I, I probably saved myself about $800 instead of taking it to the shop, maybe more. So just took me, it just took me an afternoon of my hard work. I'm covered dirty now. I need to wash up. If y'all made it this much to the video, please like and comment. And we'll be back with another banger. Boom.